Bang, news nice. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work and I am going to do an unboxing on this lovely package that was sent by our buddy Russ. I do know what's in here and yeah, so let's get into this box. Also, if you guys want to check out our Patreon, then uh, you can get involved in monthly giveaways. At the end of the month, we have a really badass giveaway going on. And if you check out my last video, you will see that. And if you're watching this in the future, then ho hopefully we are still doing monthly giveaways. So you can get involved in that if you become a Patreon. Now here, I'll read the letter separate. I do believe it's just the one thing. I don't want to give up anybody's information or anything, so we'll check that out in a minute, or I will. Oh yeah, this is the Hoback knife sent by Shaker MT, a badass knife. I really, really like this knife. I can't wait to do the review on it. Yeah. And don't worry, Shaker, I am very delicate and gentle with your knives. Um, and I know which ones not to use and which ones to use. <laughs> I know better than to uh, play with certain knives besides just drooling on them. Check that out. Very, very cool. First flip. Whoa! That thing's got some good action. Let me get this thing to the side. You can see the name right there. The Shikra. Very nice Micarta. I love this kind of Micarta. It actually gives you some texture. This thing is super lightweight. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this thing's pretty impressive. This is titanium on this side. You see the lock bar insert right there. You see the reversible pocket clip. Nice deep carry pocket clip. Plenty of room. Nice and centered. Man, this thing is snappy. Very lightweight. Oh my god, yeah. This has got a nice thin blade. Nice, beautiful. Looks like a hollow ground blade. Pretty decent edge. Yeah, that's actually a, a decent factory edge. You know what? Let's get the microscope and check it out. I've actually got another one on the way too. But this is the new one I just got. And it's got a light on it. It's just a cheap little thing, but it'll help us get in there and check this edge out. Let me see if I can get this thing up to the camera. Let's go like this. I'm going to turn this light off. Let's try that. There we go. Nice edge. Very, very nice. Looks like they got a decent sharp ring toil on there. I'm not trying to do the review. One thing though about the edge, even though it is very, very sharp, I mean for um, a production edge, you know, factory edge, it is a little uneven. If you look at, I don't know if you'll be able to get it on camera, but you see this side. Now watch when I flip it right here. Watch this. So what they did was the belt went like this and then kind of turn like so if my, the, my finger was the belt it went like this and then started turning so like this and turned in right there which isn't that big of a deal i could definitely fix it and you know this isn't it's not like this is a custom knife or anything this is still a great edge and that's a pretty common thing let me say it very common i mean benchmade does it spider go does it they all do it and they got robot sharpeners so you know um but it's still, it's not it's not a bad edge. It is uneven, though. You see on this side to this side. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the grind or if it has to do with their sharpening. 
because a lot of times it has to do with the grind. And so when they ran a belt across it, it's going to do that angle on that thickness of steel. But we'll see. What, I'll, I'll really check it out in the review. But I do like this thing. It is a nice small EDC knife. Easy access to the lock bar. Very smooth, man. The detent on this thing is super crisp. I mean, it's just pow. Yeah, I like this thing. This thing is a great light, especially if you're the type of person that likes the lightweight EDC knives. This is a great one. I can already tell. And it is Aus 8. So you know it goes for a pretty good budget. Ontario Knife Company. It is made in China. I wish they wouldn't have put that there. We already know that. But I'll say this. They did a damn good job. Very, very nice. Let's do the push button. Very, very cool. Let's do a couple size comparisons really quick. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Uh, see the actual size of it. Here is the Civivi Elementum. You can see the Civivi Elementum is just a little bit smaller than it. Let's see if we can find something. Oh, let's try the giveaway knife. How about that? Ooh, this month's giveaway knife. You can see it's a lot longer. This is a little bit more of a full-size knife, even though it's not a huge knife. It's just basically a full-size knife. I wouldn't even call it a big knife or anything like that. Um, let's try the pair of three lightweight. This seems like it might be a good size for it. Yeah, it's right there with the pair of three lightweight, just a smidgen longer. I mean, it's such a tiny bit. I would say it's the same length, basically. I um, wonder which one's heavier. Because this is a very lightweight knife, too. Oh, man, they're about to eat. Oh, it's hard to say. You know what? I think the pair... Yep, this is heavier. This is for sure heavier. So this is lighter, at least <laughs> offhand. <laughs> I didn't pull a scale out or anything, but that's how we do it. But look at the access to the lock bar. Very, very generous. Now, I haven't... Obviously, you've seen me just unbox this, so I haven't had a chance to... Uh, to really get to know it but my first impressions are really nice i do like it they did something that a lot of companies are missing out on right now they gave us a sharpening tool not a finger tool an actual just sharpening tool and you know it's not a big deal if you don't put a big sharpening tool just put it in the right place that's it just put it in the right place and you see how they have to plunge grind before the sharpening tool so even though it's not like a really big one or really deep, it at least gives you an area to start sharpening without ruining the plunge grind. Yeah, this thing's so snappy. It's, um, you see how it's like, it's like a minimal flipper tab. So you can do the push button very easily because the detent is so crisp. You see how I easily just snap it right back in there. Nice push button. Do the light switch. Very snappy. And then to, to put it back, one little slap and it goes back. Let's check the little shaky shake test. Man. You know what though? I will say this. It's 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 a little off. I don't know. I guess it's kind of balanced. Yeah, I guess it is. You know what? It's almost so balanced that it feels unbalanced because it's so light. I mean, it's like, let's see if they milled out the titanium. That's I'm kind of curious now because this is so light. No, they didn't. It's just nice and thin. You know, micarta is super light. Let's see, check the squeeze test. Oh, yeah, this thing is pretty strong. Yeah, barely. And I mean, like, over here, obviously, the standoffs are, so I'm not getting nothing up here. I'm not getting nothing. Right in the middle, if I really... But, I mean... That, that's not, that's nothing. That is nothing. I mean, I can do that with some knives with liners. But that's what's keeping it light, is that there's no liner on this side. Just micarta. Very nice micarta. You know what, after time, this micarta is going to break in so nicely. I do like this thing. Let's try out the stop pin. Nice, good size stop pin. Oh, wait, what kind of, is that phosphor bronze? That's what that looked like, didn't it? 
I can't tell if that's bearings or foster bronze. It feels like bearings. So I don't, I, I'm not going to say it's foster bronze. I'm going to say it's bearings at this point, even though it does look like phosphor bronze. But this thing is just way too smooth and snappy to be, to be phosphor bronze. Lock up. Perfect. Nice and early, right where you want it. Now, I do not know how this thing is going to break in or anything like that. And a lot of knives, right out, fresh out of the package, they're legit. They seem really nice, but then once you get the snapping them open 150, 250 times, they, uh, they start breaking in too fast. Or once you cut stuff, once you, you know, maybe do a sharpening job and cut some stuff, all of a sudden the lock bar just wham slams over there. So we'll see how it works out. But I will say as of right now, I am impressed. Just walked in, so here's her reaction. I don't know what's happening at all. She just walked in from work and I unboxed it before she got here. So Oh really? Yeah, so you're getting to check it Whoa. out. Whoa! It's pretty nice, right? What is this? The Shikra? Shikra? Yeah, it says right there, Shikra. I see that. Is this steel? titanium is it and micarta yeah whoa this is like it's pretty it's light the action is like i know that's what look, i look it just caught my sleeve and still opened and it's super snappy and then do you know it's lighter i don't know like by it scale but i went like this grab these two and tell me which one you think is heavier it's hard because they're really this close. one's heavier you think so but i thought this was I and thought that my one foot was is heavy. stabbed. I thought that one was heavier. No, no, hold on. But it, it's not I'm, really a fair comparison because this one's weight is, weight is distributed differently. That's so this true. one feels That's denser true. than That's this true. one. See, I They're saw, probably We just need to get a scale. Even. Or I need to look it up. This is beautiful, though. Yeah, they are so close. And how much is this? Um, I, You know what? I haven't checked the price on it yet. I did see it the other day, uh, but I forget. But it's not much. It's not like crazy expensive. I wish I had a Warren Cliff version. I'd be all in. Like it's a um a reasonable price. It's wow. Like, it's Aus 8. Titanium, I like the one Mac side Micarta deal. That's cool. And the Micarta is really nice. If you really yeah, look it, it up close. I mean, it is really, really nice. Yeah. Tis, tis nice. Okay. Cool, cool. Who's this from? That is from Russ. Very, and so very, we can very, use very, it, very, very sharpen cool. it, check it out. I mean, if it does need, I don't know if it'll. It's got a good edge on it right now, but um. The shikra. But you know, maybe I'll tune it up for him. Um, we'll see. Let's we'll see how it goes. Left-handed test. Oh, that's so easy to use lefty. I actually have an easier time with it lefty. Well, probably like a lot left-handed. Anyway, cool. Thanks. All right, guys. Peace.